ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul, and in this Rick Game to Come video, AMD are rumoured to be creating a consumer orientated 16 core Ryzen CPU. That is 32 threads of number crunching power, my friends, which is, well, what is the word for that other than just bonkers, crazy? There are a couple of differences according to the reports that we're hearing. Now, it's worth noting, before we go too deep into this, that the roadmaps we've seen are somewhat at odds with this. However, the reports are still there. Uh, perhaps one of the most prolific websites which is reporting this is Overclock 3 d So I'll get into the report first, and then I'll discuss the roadmaps. So essentially, this is a 16-core, 32-thread processor, but has quad-channel memory. So obviously that ups the amount of memory bandwidth available to the CPUs, which makes sense. And in theory, this will obviously provide ample performance for if you're doing 3D modeling or what have you. So obviously applications like Cinebench or rather benchmarks such as Cinebench are going to go off the charts. However, gaming issues in theory by that point with Ryzen are also going to be ironed out. Now, I did report just a day or two ago that, depending on when you're watching this, that AMD are working on getting 2933 MHz RAM up and running with Ryzen, and supposedly the difference with F1 2016 was around 15 frames a second at 1080p, which is not too bad. In theory, they are looking to price these processors at a very compelling um point of market entry. Essentially, these are going to be competing, at least in thread and core count, with something along the lines of a 6950X. However, the report says that they're going to be putting it around, well, a thousand dollars or less, which is absolutely crazy. I don't think it requires me to tell you that the sheer size of this damn thing is going to be massive. Um, not just the fact that it's, well, you know, got the number of cores, but also the fact that it might also have a different memory controller and a few other bits and bobs, which would obviously make sense given the sheer size of this. It basically is going to bridge the gap between high-end desktop, let's say something you'd use Doom on, and also a processor which you might decide to do some 3D rendering on. So let's say for the sake of argument, you say, well, eight serve is not enough cores and you really need a lot more, but you also do a lot of freedom rendering, but perhaps you don't have like $2,000 or what have you for an Intel processor or a Xenon or what, you know, whatever, then this would be the processor for you. And obviously, in theory, it will tackle a wide variety of different markets. The fact it's a quad-channel uh, quad excuse me, memory rather than eight also means that the entry price should also be a bit cheaper. There are a couple of other small caveats, however, before we close out the video. The first issue is that, well, the platform itself, which this processor would be part of, is not on any of the AMD roadmaps. Now, it's possible that they're working on this or maybe haven't, you know, put it out to the public. However, according to the rumours, it's going to be announced at Computex. Even if you say that it's going to be a bit later than Computex, let's even say three months or six months later, I would have thought it would have appeared at least on one roadmap or link. Okay, now you might say, well, it can't go on AM4, surely, and that would be pretty much accurate. I mean, there's no way. I would say it could possibly go on AM4, other than the sheer size of A, the die, and B, it's quad, ch quad channel. I don't know why I'm having difficulty saying that today. Quad channel memory. So, in reality, it just it just doesn't make sense uh, in that regard. So, it obviously has to be a new platform. Do remember, there were a couple of roadmaps which leaked for the client side as well as, um, sorry, the mobile side and desktop side for client roadmaps. Now, they go up to 2018, and they said that Pinnacle Ridge is going to have up to eight Zen cores. However, that is Pinnacle Ridge. And do remember that those roadmaps are for quite basically their partners, so that would be board vendors. So it's possible that those board vendors have not simply been privy to this information. What's my take on it? I wouldn't be surprised either way. I mean, it's pretty obvious that AMD are looking to scale their product to pretty much anything and everything they can sell Zen 2. 
At the end of the day, it's money. It's like me saying to you, well, would you like to sell to fewer people? Or would you like to sell to more people? I don't think any business in the history of humanity has been like, well, gee, I'd like to actually limit our customer base as much as humanly possible. Of course you're going to sell to more people. My question is, like, have they thought of this at this particular moment in time? Well, that's a bigger mystery. Also, the way the rumour seems to have it is that they've made changes to the Zen architecture. It's possible, however, because they're saying that they've ironed out gaming performance of the processor. It's possible, however, that they're referring instead to the BIOS and the actual, you know, changes with the software itself, which would make some, you know, some level of sense. In other words, they've changed the, the drivers, they've maybe changed the BIOS, maybe some of the microcode on the CPU. I don't know. I mean, ultimately, we just don't know this stuff. And it's, like, a bit weird in that regard. Because architecture changes, I, I think that would piss off a lot of early Zen adopters. Like, imagine if you heard in, like, four months' time or six months' time, there was going to be a revision of Zen, which ironed out the revisions... Oh, sorry, that ironed out the problems in the Zen architecture, and they could not be done via software. It was hardware only, and that would fix... Gaming performance, I don't say it in such a tone because, you know, all the debates. I personally believe it's a lot of BIOS-related and software optimization issues rather than actually something inherently wrong with the architecture of the CPU, which is basically what AMD have told their customers. So I'm personally more likely to take these rumours as AMD will have, by that time, fixed the software and by software in the BIOS, the drivers, the you know, support to their customers, all of that stuff, um, then perhaps that would make some level of sense. Regardless, this is a rumour which I can see having some level of validity, even if I don't see it happening now. I can certainly see it happening in the future, because AMD, once again, have been very aggressive when they're talking about server markets, when they're talking about processes for professionals, for, you know... Um, compute uses for data farms for god knows what all the way down to mobile uses so that would be for example you know a low-end laptop so for them to scale this and to have an intermediary i can see that happening let me know what your thoughts are take care of yourselves bye for now